Hey y'all, just a quick video. I want to go over uh, 5.3 worksheet, the only thing that people really had trouble with. Uh, number one, if you didn't get full credit, it's probably because if, you, if it said explain, you didn't explain somewhere, and most of it was on uh, the 5.3 worksheet. Like I said, it was, uh, let me click across here real quick, but um, questions, uh, especially question six. How many workers and how many forklifts should you hire to maximize total output? Explain how you determine your answer. Um, you have to remember you only have $80. Okay, so because you have $80, some of you just wrote the answer, some of you forgot that the $80 mattered, some of you... So, if you if you wrote something that was wrong, I gave you credit, but if you didn't even try to answer it, you didn't bother explaining it, that's probably why you lost points. So let me go through this real quick. Recreated the chart. Of course, I brought home a projector from school and uh, hadn't used it in a number of years. A portable projector and the light bulb, the bulbs burn out, so got to go back to school tomorrow, steal a, a bulb or steal a projector, but I'm sure I can steal one from somewhere. Uh, but for right now, I just rewrote the whole chart up here on my, my new board and my new uh, office slash playroom slash uh, recording studio. So let's walk through, being I have this, I have, should I use workers in black here or should I use forklifts over here in red? This one's a little bit different because it's not gonna end up at an even where both of them are three or both of them are four as far as marginal product of labor over price of labor and marginal product of forklift over price of forklift, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, I haven't seen one like this before on the AP test, but if we see it, let's make sure we don't panic and we know what we're doing. So, total box is loaded. Total box is loaded. I filled in the chart for you. Should be no problem with that. How many people we have. So, with the first uh, forklift, gives me 10 marginal products uh, over the price of the forklift. The first worker only gives me five. So, the first thing I'm going to do is hire a forklift operator, and that'll cost me $15. Okay? So remember, I have a total of $80 to start with. Can't really see that real well, I'm sure, but it's, that says $15. So now I spend $15. So now I look, and the next forklift up uh, gives me eight marginal products per the price. A worker only gives me five, so I should hire another forklift operator, and now I've spent a total of $30. Okay, again, I have $80 to work with, what should I do? Should I rent another forklift or hire a person? Forklifts cost me $15 each. Workers cost me $10 each. So that's where this six comes from. So the sixth, uh, the, the third forklift gives me a marginal product per price of forklift of six. The first worker still only gives me five, so I should hire a third forklift or rent a third forklift before I rent any people. That third one costs me also $15, so now I've spent $45, okay? Now I have the first person brings me uh, five marginal product of labor over price of labor. The fourth forklift, which would be our next one, only brings me three. So now I need to, to hire a person. So that's here. Now, how much have I spent? 45 plus 10 is 55. So now, one person, now I've spent $55. So now I'm looking, what should I do? Should I, uh, the next forklift gives me three marginal product per price. The next um, person gives me four. So again, hire another person at $10. And now I spent a total of $65. So I look and uh, I can either have a person here at three, I'm sorry, a forklift here at three marginal product for, for 15 or a person here uh, at 10, okay? But what is gonna happen is I want to go ahead and use here, okay? Because it gives me a 60 additional, uh, I spend the whole $15, I spend my entire budget of $80, and that was part of the problem, I spend the entire budget of $80, so here, now I've spent the entire budget of $80, and I have had two people and four forklifts, okay? The two people give me a grand total of 90 boxes loaded. The four forklifts give me a grand total of 420 boxes loaded, and that's how we get the next question of uh, the answer to the next question being nine.
Okay, so should have been pretty straightforward. Again, if it says explain, make sure you take the time to explain. I uh, assume most of you saw the news today. It looks like uh, we will be closed through at least May 15th now with the governor making his announcement, which means most likely, uh, although they haven't announced the date of the AP test, we will not see each other face to face before the AP exam. So uh, I've been trying to wrap my head around that, plus the news Friday of the changes in the AP exam and really don't have a whole lot of answers for anybody yet. But I'll figure it out tonight. It's now 9.14 p.m. So I'll have something for you tomorrow. Uh, I don't know what yet. Um, Wednesday, make sure you do look though. Wednesday at 9 a.m. We're gonna try a test, not a, really a test because it's not gonna count as a grade, but uh, I wanna see where we stand on chapter five. So 20, 25, multiple choice or so in half an hour. I'm going to try it off the College Board website. I don't know how it's going to go. It's one of the reasons I'm not counting it, but I need everybody to be available. We'll start it right at 9 a.m. You'll be done by 9.30 on Wednesday. So please be available for that. Let me know if you have any questions and uh, check at, by, or, uh, at 9 a.m. tomorrow, Tuesday on Google Classroom and we'll have something up for the day tomorrow. All right, talk to you guys later.